It looks like the Democrats duped the viewers Thursday night at the TNC. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's dive on in, but before we do, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our episodes, okay? So, the Democratic National Convention teased that Beyonce would be the celebrity guest on Thursday night. Americans who stayed up late expected to see Beyonce and Taylor Swift endorse Vice President Kamala Harris. Instead, it turned out that Kamala herself was the celebrity guest. Kamala made a surprise appearance on Monday night at the TNC. She stood on stage, you guys, and waved to the half-empty seats in the building. The Democrats needed the DNC to go out with a bang on Thursday night when Kamala accepted the nomination. Instead, Kamala walked on stage to the sound of Beyonce's freedom, but Beyonce was not walking alongside her. I'm told the Democrats tried their best to get Beyonce there. They probably begged and pleaded with Michelle Obama to call Beyonce. Columnist Laura Bassett wrote, teasing a huge surprise guest and leaking that it's both Beyonce and Taylor Swift just to get people to tune in is actually kind of funny. Another Twitter user wrote, in case you haven't figured it out yet, you were duped. The Democrats screwed you all again. There was no George W. Bush, no Taylor Swift, no Beyonce. Never was. The surprise guest all along was Kamala Harris. They are openly mocking you, gaslighting you. Someone else wrote, lies. Democrats lied to the media outlets and to voters that Beyonce and possibly another special guest would perform ahead of Kamala Harris's speech. CNN reveals it was all a lie to get people to watch. You guys, it was headlines after headlines stating that Beyonce was to perform at the Democratic convention. There was one Twitter account announced that Beyonce was there. They said she's there alongside a video of a black SUV driving through Chicago's River North neighborhood escorted by a police motorcade. Then Beyonce's publicist came out and made a statement saying that Beyonce is not performing at the DNC and was never scheduled to attend. Another user wrote, they wanted to fill seats without a celebrity performing. They wouldn't have been able to fill enough seats to fool the public into thinking that Kamala is popular. You know what? I don't understand. I don't understand why the Democratic Party focuses so much on celebrities. Like, that's their whole focus. Ratchet celebrities. Do they really think people are voting for them because of a celebrity endorsement like this is crazy these celebrities are nothing but paid puppets we don't care what they have to say outside of the entertainment industry when it comes to politics why should we care what a puppet have to say they are paid to do and say whatever so i don't know why the democratic party focused so much on celebrities ghetto ratchet celebrities like that they don't care much about black people that's why they just let anyone perform i mean megan the stallion quavo who else young little john <laughs> it's it's a joke it's a joke before I go, Beyonce launched a whiskey line. She put her name on a whiskey line. More poisonous alcohol for her own people. Yeah, we need more alcohol. More alcohol, poison more people. Jay-Z, her husband, was a street pharmacist, a.k.a. D-R-U-G pusher. He used to sell D-R-U-G-S. And now, Beyonce is pushing alcohol to black people. She just want to sell. She's trying everything. She's trying everything, hoping one sticks, because we do know everything that she puts outside of music does not sell. She wants to be Rihanna so bad. <laughs> Let me cut it out. But no, for real. Like, come on. Like, a lot of these people are so money hungry. They are never, like, money's never enough. They could be rich, rich as heck. 
but yet they still money hungry. They want more, more, and they willing to just scrape at the bottom. I mean, alcohol line, I guess, hairline, alcohol line. What's next? A lip gloss line, like sexy red. Oh gosh, I don't know. Anyways, you guys, that's all I have. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed already, I would deeply appreciate if you did. Of course, like this video. I'm an independent YouTuber, so your likes and subscribes and comments mean way more to me than they would a bigger platform. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I will see you on the next one. Peace.